greetings and welcome to Flavorful Eats. Yes, we're going on with our Diwali treats. Yes, it's so exciting. Yes. This one is going to be much better. Okay, again, my guest is Nita Desai and I'm your host, Hamsha Naidu. Now we're making the food, the actual food and it's snacks. So I'm starting off with a filling that we make with samosas. So it's basically a gram dal uh, and mixed vegetable. And then Nita is going to be making a palau and she's going to be making vada, which is another pida favorite. Yes, and we're going to fry it so this is going to be crisp. Yes. So I, I heated the oil, a little bit of oil. I'm adding a little bit of um, mustard seeds, a little bit of jeera, cumin seeds, a little bit of uh, fennel seeds, which is uh, not many people will use that. And um, I guess I left my cinnamon somewhere. Then I add uh, the onion. There's a cinnamon. cinnamon. Almost an onion here, a full onion. So I leave that to get translucent a little bit. And to that, I'm going to be adding some ginger and garlic and um, some, some green, green chilies. chilies, curry leaves, scallions or green onions. Um, it's a fit eater. This is to help to get uh, help digest the digestion, yes. And less and gas. <laughs> less gas. And that's uh, the chili powder to add a little bit more flavor. This is a mixed masala which my mother actually makes all really? the time. Yes. But if you're adding fennel seeds, coriander seeds, and uh, cumin, pure chili powder will be just fine. It will just work just fine. So, uh, um, samosa is one of those things where the onion doesn't have to be absolutely translucent because in the frying process, again, it gets uh, fried in. So with that, I'm going to be adding a ginger and garlic. Um, if you could only smell this once it gets in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You want and to add more? No. Um, and that's, this one has both garlic and um, chilies. And I'm making it a little bit mild because I know everybody here cannot eat very spicy um, food. food here. So I guess you can smell it already, right? Mm -hmm. And then add my curry powder. This is this like a teaspoon of curry powder? Together we add my um, frozen vegetables. You could use fresh ones, but I just this is what I had at home. I'm just make, we just make do what we have. Exactly. We just it don't necessarily. It doesn't have to be exact. Right. Sometimes the fun is in having something that something is missing. It's okay. Right. You know, like for exactly. veggies or mm -hmm. things like that. If you don't have scallions, it's fine. You can add more cilantro. Oh, the scallions or the onions. is onions. Yes, that will be more like the family together. And I'm Correct. adding my scallions. And then... And that's so nice that you've already got it boiled. Right, I so already boiled it. And it's, 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 it's soft to the touch and yet it's apart, see? And it's firm. S it's firm, mm. it's firm. So this is now split chickpeas. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows the whole chickpeas. Correct. This is when the skin is out and it's all, and then I, I soaked it and then I boiled it and had it ready. So this is less than, after it's all boiled, like less than five minutes, it's all ready. And I, I need not forget the salt. Can I trouble you to put some salt yes. in for me? Yes, uh, we have the salt here. Mm -hmm. That's the best too. You always know how much to put when you use, use your fingers. fingers. Exactly. You want it a little bit more? No, the thing is a little bit salty salt. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. And then what I tend to do is I'll take the potato, um, masher and mash the thing and as it heats up it will get nicely mashed okay so we put our salt we did everything in there so we only need to put in the end a little bit of cilantro mm -hmm. and a little bit of um, did we put hing? Oh, we forgot okay, well you put it in here yep. I leave a little, you normally put it in the oil there we go going to be putting Flavorful. this for the sake of time. Okay, so I'm going to be moving this on the other side and then you can make your palau. Okay. So in the palau, I've already added two tablespoons of oil and I usually add butter. I think you can use cilantro. Yes, uh, later. Or ghee. Since I have the ghee, I'm going to add two tablespoons of ghee. And I'm going to make it hot so that once it gets hot, I'm going to put in my jeera. I'm going to put in some cinnamon sticks, about uh, four to five cardamom, the whole ones. And I've got about four cloves, 
So I'm going to add that. This is my ginger garlic that is going to go in. My rice is washed. It's about two cups. I have uh, two cups of veggie, uh, vegetables, frozen ones. I have potatoes that are also cut and ready. And my onions are sliced. So my onions are going to go in first once the pot is hot and it starts plucking. We will know it's hot because the mustard will start spluttering. And once the onions are done, I'm going to add in my ginger garlic. And we're going to use hot water so that it cooks quickly. And I hamsha is yeah. water. And I'm going to add in my, you can add in your bay leaves also over here. I'm just going to put my cardamom also. And once it starts spluttering, I'm going to add in my onions. They say a watch pot never boils. What I like about this recipe is it's all one pot dish. So if you're in a hurry on a weekday night, this is an ideal dish. I just wash the rice and add all this which is already there. I also uh, make my ginger garlic and the recipes online too and keep it ready. I put it into ice trays, you know, ice cube trays and then I take it out and put it into Ziploc. It saves a lot of space if you have that ready. Now since it's spluttering and it's nicely roasting, I'm going to add in my onions. So while the onions are getting ready, because it's going to cook further, I'm going to add in my ginger garlic. I'm going to add two tablespoons because I've got two cups. Uh, and two I'm going cups to, of rice, right? Right. So I'm going to make sure that I cook this well. The ginger garlic must get nicely cooked in this ghee oil mixture. You can even add butter if you prefer. And then I'm going to add the rice because you want your rice to be coated properly and roasted with the ghee. Once that gets done, we'll add the vegetables. So you here's talk my rice. About smell, my word. Isn't it lovely? Yes. You feel like eating. Yes, and this definitely is, hungry already. This is what we make on a Diwali day. Sometimes you make a biryani, which is much more complicated. Mm -hmm. But this is a simpler version and you can add anything you want. Some people like cottage cheese or we call it paneer. You can add that also. You can even right, add spinach. Paneer, yes. yeah. And I put cauliflower in it also and it tastes delicious. Oh, I can just imagine. Yeah. So sometimes when I want to really make a good meal and I want to add most of the vegetables so that the children get to eat it too, mm -hmm. I just add in every vegetable that I can think of. So you can see the rice is getting toasted. Before I add in my vegetables, by the way, I need to add in my cashews, which I should have added much before oh, this. Oh, right. It's right in your ghee and oil initially, right? Yes. So what I'm going to do now is to make up for it. I'm going to add my palau masala that I have. I'm just putting two tablespoons here and I'm going to mix it well and then put in the vegetables and then the salt to taste. I've got potatoes too so I'm going to add that to the mix. salt to taste. Yes, some people like it salty, some people like it less salt. And I try to put less, I hope it's not too much. <laughs> so to my mix, yes, I'm just adding last bit of the cilantro. When it's Do you already. want some more I have here? A little bit more please. It's good to have. Yeah, that's good. And this is ready for my samosa mixing now. I'm going to put some in a bowl and cool it a little bit so it'll yep. be ready for us to use when we and I'm ready for my segment. So you can see I'm stirring it so that it doesn't get stuck at the bottom. And even if it does a little bit, it's fine. Now, what I've done is I've got hot water here. So since I had two cups over here of the rice and there's a little bit of, I'm going to put one and three quarter of water. Makes sense. So, for, so it'll make it the right amount to cook. So, I'm going so to 
I have a one cup measure, so I'm just going to put it in. Remember one and three quarters. So one and three quarter for one cup. One and three quarter for the other. And one cup over here for the rice that we added. At this point, if you want to taste your salt, it will be a good time to taste. Or you will maybe actually not. taste it right then and there? Over here to see if you want to add. If you're not a sh very sure of your salt or right. you want to check it. Right. So now I'm going to put this oil on here. And Wait, you can, uh, don't you want to put it here so it's closer for you to work okay. with? Okay, I think I can do that. So while this is getting hot, let me show you what I've done for the verde. So I have the pea dal. Today we seem to be using a lot of pea dal. Different dal. Yeah, but the different. The one I've used is chickpeas. This and is you use split pea. <laughs> and um, I ground it. I soaked it overnight and I ground it. And then to that, I'm going to add some chopped onions. It's according to your taste. I love onions. And these are Vidalia ones. So I can go to town with that. You will ground some green chilies together some, with that, yes. And some um, jeera, cumin seeds, right? No, not cumin seeds. I ground it with uh, green chilies and ginger. Oh, okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of the jeera that is left over. The cumin seeds. The right? cumin seeds, mm -hmm. sorry. And then I'm going to add in my salt and I'm going to use my hands this time. Uh, I normally put a little bit of fennel seeds and I put a tiny bit of banana. Oh, Otherwise is it? Sugar. Mm -hmm. No sugar, no banana. Yeah. Now this time it's not the Gujaratis who are I'm making. No, it. This is a very South Indian dish. Yes, it is very South and Indian. And maybe the banana adds something to it. So I'm going to mix this up. Not everybody uses. I think that's my mother. That's my mother's style of doing it. And then I guess that's how I. Miss I'm going to put in a little bit of cumin. Cumin gives it a good taste. Yes, I actually add some fennel to it too. Yeah, fennel is also really good. Mm -hmm. I think uh, someone in the family may not have liked it, so I don't add it anymore to okay. it. Okay. So we're going to put it very high. I'm just going to show you how to fry a few. Oh, okay. And if I can have Hamsha keep an eye on it, uh -huh. I can show you how to make that. Um, you can put a few more. Yeah, no, I'm putting five more. And then, uh, <laughs> then I can uh, do the samosa and show you how the filling is. So that is what you call the vade. And this is like an appetizer. And it's the most delicious, crispy, fried, protein packed. <laughs> the only part is the oil that we are frying it in. Most of the people in my family, my children, they love it. If I make this, they don't want to eat anything else. <laughs> so I can fit, don't fit too many at a time, then the oil gets cold. So I'm trying to just make enough for one lot. Okay, so we're going to do the samosa in the meanwhile. The next thing we're doing is we're doing, we're the filling samosas. out samosa. So this is basically, I've given you a whole recipe with different steps on how you get to this step. It's a long process, we need more than a 28 minutes show. So with that we just take, we cut out the strips and we have it in a damp cloth and you lay it straight like that. And then you fill it with a filling, which today we are using gram, gram dal and chana dal, gram, chana, whole chickpeas. With lots of nice masala and mixed vegetables. Right. So basically you want one triangle over here. And you want to keep going till you find a nice triangle shape. And while you're going through the step, make sure that you maintain the step at the same time you are keeping the filling within the triangle right and because if it pops open then the entire oil will get spoiled and of course your samosa will disintegrate so i'm using this all-purpose flour and a little bit of water some people may use egg white or egg in it if they want to since we are vegetarians we are not going to do that and on Diwali day, we do not use any meat I or eggs. I think people that most people that even eat uh, meat will not eat meat during Diwali. On Wall, that day, to, yeah. to my knowledge, I don't, I'm not sure. So I have these samosas in South Africa. I used to make a, uh, like five dozen samosas and freeze them, so that if guests come accidentally Unexpected. or I mean, unexpectedly, what are we talking about? Unexpected. Unexpected guests. Then we have something Which, uh, ready. Always welcome, especially in uh, during Deepavali. <laughs>
we love. More people come, we enjoy feeding them. You never know which day you're going to have the Lord himself come to your door. So we like to feel. I used to make my sons sit at the table with me and they had to put the paste while I was doing this so that if they loved samosas, they had to help. You can also make this with potatoes. Yes, you can make it with just about any vegetable Any kind of want. filling or meat for that matter if you want to try that. It should be ground, of course. So wh whatever takes your fancy, you can use as a filling. We're going to put in the samosas and so you all can see how, how you can fry these two. And when it's fresh, it starts being crisp. So these can be eaten with any of your main dishes that you have. And it's a very typical Indian uh, appetizer. If you go to any Indian buffet or a yeah. restaurant, but you're it's, sure it's to find them. Slightly different. So when you're actually making it, the process, you put a big one on the tava or the, or yes. the, or the oven. This is how you will peel it uh, out. Yes, that's when how the rotis are put on one on top of the other. other. And then you have to peel, uh, separate them off like that. So she showed you that way. I do it this way. I make my triangle yep. first. I first do my triangle and then I put it in. That's much I easier. Leave you, I'll leave you to do the rest. Okay. So if you are that kind of a uh, person, I don't know, is this a visual or what kind of person this is, then you may have to do, do it this way. I think I'm so used to doing it my way. I yes, feel that's the only way. Everybody that really does a lot at a time, do it, does it your way. So oh yes, I, I have my um, in-laws, they all make this, do, do this a little bit for a living and they do it your style. Really? Yes. I never knew that. Uh, by the way, when I said something about the Indian restaurants, you get samosas, but those are Punjabi samosas. As I say, they are that's much that's thicker. Very the pastry different. is very thick, mm -hmm. and uh, it's hard, uh, pretty hard. The dough is it's stiff, whereas this is very thin, if you notice. And these are much crispier to eat. So as you can see, we are done. My pulao is ready, by the way. I was going to say, maybe you want to have a look at your palau. Right. It's beautiful. If you put in a little turmeric in it, it would have given it a yellow color. Right now, it's a whitish one. If you have it with papad, oh, that yes. would be really, really fantastic. And I'm going to make some raita very quickly for you and no more of the samosas. So you well, know how to do them. So I will do this three and then I will done. show you how to make the raita very quickly. Okay, you do the so I have Should one I cup of yogurt. Yeah. I've added salt to it already. I'm going to put it in here and going to mix my cucumber, which I've grated. Some people like it chopped, that's fine. Grated is also nice, however you like it. I do not remove the water unless, you know, uh, cucumbers are very watery and that's why they're very good if you're dieting or anything. It's a more like it's a watery vegetable. It's actually a very nutritious thing to have. Very nutritious. At any time. Yes. And then I'm just going to add this in here. If you're using it for a little later on, then maybe the water can come out. And then you can add it, you know, while you're like, eating. If you're doing it beforehand, you know, before your guests arrive. All right. And then to this, I'm adding a little bit of mint, a little bit of shallots, and green onions, and a lot of coriander. And I'm going to add in a little bit of jeera which is roasted. So if you notice, if you put it in your hand and then you put it in, it'll get nice and like kind of uh, crushed. I like to add mustard seeds over here too. And we have a little bit somewhere. If, if you can get our hands uh, on it, it's on the other side uh, I can put in the mustard seeds, which are also crushed. And this is your raita. It took less than a second, not really, mm -hmm. but about well, Five. after you had everything. Uh, everything was ready. And then you just had to put it together. And this has got a little salt. And if you find your yogurt is a little too salty or it's too sourish, you can add a pinch of sugar in it. And it'll be fine. So that is our raita. Look at it, how lovely it looks. And that is our samosas. It's ready. Our vadas are ready. We are going to add in our samosas in the side, so you can have a look. Uh, it's, it's ideal to put this on a uh, on paper. On paper. Or 
or um, to absorb or a colander not in a we didn't have the ideal situation right now. If you are planning something, this is your chance. You can make it and keep it ahead of time, these samosas. But don't do that too early. Maybe a week or so is just fine. No, well, you can make it and freeze it. Yeah, freeze it. Freeze it and then fry it at the time off. Take it out only on that right. time. At that time. If you look at the samosa, it's so crispy and it's light. And if I put it with enough uh, paper towel, it'll absorb all the oil that is there in it. And if you put all this over here, you can see how nicely it can drain. And you are ready with your appetizers. And these can be kept in the oven, you know, on a very low temperature yes, ahead of time. Warm. Okay, so we'll, get, we'll just plate and then get back? Yes. So this is all ready. Um, Nita is busy plating. So you can see how well cooked this is. All the cashews are here on top, if you notice. You can use any kind of vegetables that you like, as I said. But this gives it a nice taste with the raita that we made. It's light. And on the heavy days like these, festival days where you're overindulging, <laughs> you do not really want to eat a heavy meal. So a this lot, is just right. A because lot of sweets, right? Yes. And the biryani gives it the, you know, too much of, it's a big kind of a very filling kind yes. of a dish. Whereas this is nice and light and yet healthy. So we have our palau. Put the vada on one side and the samosas on one place. Yes. Forgot to bring the little sauce that can go with it. That's okay. Yeah. We can make. Uh, we can have uh, chutneys with this, the green chutney, or you can have uh, the date chutney also, or sauce, the ketchup. <laughs> yes, a lot of people have regular ketchup. That's what they do. Nothing wrong with that, but you don't need anything because this is so. Uh, filling on its own and it has so much of flavor that is why we are on flavorful eats, eats. exactly <laughs> <laughs> while the last of the vadas are getting done we would like to wish all of you a very pleasant Diwali hopefully these recipes help and oh, it's yes. not very difficult once you have everything done but you have to plan and organize yourself because then you can feel that you have done a good job and this is how it'll go together and I'm going to add in a little bit of extra decoration on top always add a little bit of green to make the dish pop okay so we have our appetizer our main meal together with our raita which is absolutely light and uh, Filling and, filling and delicious it goes ideally with us right so and after eating all that you need little yogurt to kind of let your stomach rest right and um, in a couple of seconds we maybe tie up with our sweets yes we can show them how it looks yes and I hope all of you enjoy this and remember good always triumphs so do this with love and joy for your family and your friends and it becomes absolutely manna from heaven and also or amrit amrit right that's honey. the Indian word <laughs> honey right that's honey kind of uh, sweet from God from the heavens <laughs> and um, you know you were, um, you had a very good saying uh, asatama sadgamaya tamasoma jyotir gamaya mrityurma amritam gamaya and that translate okay so we are asking the goddess uh, Lakshmi to please uh, take us and even any goddess is a part of God because that's what the Hindu mythology believes so we are asking goddess to lead us from falsehood to truth from darkness. darkness into light and from immort uh, from mortality to immortality and we also want this whole world to have peace therefore we always say om shanti 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 is peace, peace. so peace on everybody on the entire world 
and I hope you have a great Dipavali. And uh, with that, and any comments, write to flavorfuleats at gmail.com. It's available at any time at actontv.org. We are on the YouTube channel too. And from our family at Acton TV to, to your, your family. A very happy, happy Dipavali. And the Gujarati celebrate a new year after that. So happy new year to those who are celebrating. Take care. Bye-bye.